History professor Heidi Fehrenbach is internationally recognized for groundbreaking work on the social and cultural effects of World War II and military occupation in Germany and other nations. Her books on those topics are being taught in advanced courses at leading universities worldwide. She has explored the post-war processes of democratization and Americanization and shed new light on racial and gender ideologies in post-fascist Germany. I got interested in, in post-war German history because of, first of all, the influence of a terrific undergraduate professor who really got me uh, interested in certain historical problems in German history. By the time I got to graduate school, the archives um, were beginning to open for the post-1945 material. And I was one of the first historians who looked at these materials from a historical perspective rather than a political science perspective. I had been asked, once we were involved in Iraq, to write an, an editorial comparing the two post-war military occupations, both the German and the Iraqi one, by U.S. forces. And so I think that there are lessons to be learned. Um, there are differences, but also perhaps some similarities that we can learn from this history. Heidi's book on um, post-war Nazi Germany uh, takes on a very challenging subject and really explore some of the deeper and less appreciated aspects of rebuilding after that uh, very traumatic period in German history and where the insights and the understandings that she's made for all of us about that period help inform our appreciation of the Europe that we interact with today. She focuses on Germany after World War II but in so many um, different ways that opens up her work to different audiences. So she's looked at film, she looks at cultural history, she looks at the history of race and race relations, and she looks at the history of childhood, of human rights. So all these different themes you know, resonate with um, so many different scholars and also you know, general audiences, uh, both in the U.S. And, and abroad. More recently, her research has branched out to issues involving international social work for refugee women and children, the humanitarian origins of international adoption, and the role of photography in international humanitarian advocacy. What I'm interested in is kind of the historic dimensions of humanitarianism. I think that often we assume that there's always been a kind of empathy for distant suffering, and that certainly was not the case. Humanitarianism as we know it really grows in the 19th century and into the 20th century. My focus is how does photography, which is a modern technology, get mobilized um, for humanitarian advocacy. She brings equal rigor, focus, and innovation to the classroom, where period film and photography often find their way into lessons and stimulate discussions. One of the things that's most striking about Professor Fehrenbach in the classroom is that she has tremendous intellectual energy and it's very contagious, it's very inspiring. She makes us feel like we're all trying to dig deep and produce our best work. She taught me how to, to understand things in a comprehensive way, to take apart someone else's writing, understand what they were trying to say, what they meant, what their point was, and then she also taught me how to do the same with my own writing. She models the, the scholar-teacher. Uh, as well as anybody I've ever known. Uh, somebody who is actively engaged in pushing the boundaries of her own field, but uh, involves students in that process, introduces them to what she's doing, involves them in her own intellectual journey, and has a tremendous influence on them as a result of that. 